so far we've been mainly quiet with the exception of just a few isolated showers. Let's take you down to where we've got some of that rain. So this area of rain has been kind of sitting in between Hamilton and Brilliant. This is in Marion County. We've also got a few small light rain showers from Jasper to Sipsy, also in Carbon Hill. These are very, very small sprinkles. And as we look a little bit farther to the south, we've got this area of rain here right over Bessemer. This is headed in the general direction of Birmingham. Has been weakening, so we'll keep an eye on it. But overall, just a few isolated showers possible to get you out the door this morning. So your bus stop forecast, few showers, but otherwise comfortable. Later today, scattered showers and thunderstorms. We are looking at another day where we see that rain coverage increase throughout the second half of the day. Here's what we look like in downtown Birmingham early this morning. We do have some clouds around to get you started. And this is what the rest of the day breaks down like. So I'm going to move the clock forward. We're going to stop it here about 9 a.m. At that point, we are partly to mostly cloudy. We've got temperatures in the 70s, and we are looking at isolated showers at that point. Now, the second half of the day is when we bring in a little bit better coverage. This is 3 p.m. They're going to form in random locations, and I do expect coverage to be pretty good today through really the second half of the day. Even into the evening hours, we could have a few of those showers and storms holding on. This is all ahead of a boundary that's going to be moving in tomorrow, which is going to bring us an improved forecast just in time for the weekend. This evening, if you do have outdoor plans, just keep an eye on the radar. It's not going to rain everywhere all the time, but pretty likely we will still have some scattered showers and storms holding on. A quick look at the weekend forecast. A lot to like here. Boundary moves through tomorrow. Out ahead of that boundary, we could still have a few lingering showers. That's possible, but not everybody's going to get rain tomorrow. Saturday and Sunday, we are mainly clear, and the biggest story is going to be the lowered humidity. So yes, temperatures are going to hold in the 90s. It's not like we're going to have a big cool down or anything like that, but you will notice that the humidity is lower, so it's going to feel better. Morning temperatures are going to be in the 60s thanks to that drier air, and then into next week, it looks like we're going to hold in the 80s and 90s with just a small chance for a shower or storm each day.